Hi guys, welcome back to Chemistry 1032 instructional videos. I am your host, Dr. Russell Betts, and I will be guiding you through today's problem. Today's problem comes from Experiment 2, Conversion Factors and Calculations. This is Example Problem 2.2, Reporting Answers to the Correct Number of Significant Figures. This is actually a very, very important thing. Um, it costs students a lot of points when they do it wrong, um, so let's always do it. Let's always think about significant figures and calculations. Why do we have to worry about it? Well, because significant figures tell us how many digits are in a measurement. So they tell us precision, if you will. Um, if we have a number or a measurement to a certain precision, and we have another number that we're multiplying it with or, or whatnot, or adding with it, we have to have our answers reflect the precision of our worst measurement. That is what we just have to do. We can't make up precision. We have to kind of make it uh, reflect the worst measurement. So that's what we're going to do. And that's what the rules strive to do when you're trying to do these questions. Now, the rules for multiplying and dividing. So the rules for multiplying and dividing are not the same as the rules for adding, if you will, and subtracting. Let's put little quotes around them. That. Just, you know, to make you understand that we're multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting. Two separate things, two separate sets of rules. When you're talking about multiplying and dividing, significant figures matter. When you're talking about the rules for adding and subtracting, significant figures don't matter or do not matter. Okay? That's the first thing you have to understand. Significant figures matter with multiplying and dividing. Significant figures do not matter in multiple in adding and subtracting. They don't. They don't. What matters in uh, adding and subtracting? Decimal points. Decimal points matter when you add and subtract. That's the key. Okay. When you're multiplying and dividing, significant figures matter. When you're adding subtracting, significant figures don't matter. Decimal points matter. Let's put a red square around that to drive it home that that is crazy, crazy important. Decimal points matter when you're adding and subtracting, not significant figures. Very common mistake. All right, let's clean this up. So, significant figures matter when you multiply and divide. Decimal points matter when you add and subtract. So, we'll get into what that means right now. Let's do part A. Sorry, I'll do that a little neater. So here we have 3.450 grams. And we're going to divide that by 21.5 milliliters. And if you want to put it in a more common way, it would be 3.450 grams divided by 21.5 milliliters. These two things mean the same thing. Okay, now, like we just said, when you're multiplying and dividing, significant figures matter. So let's count significant figures. That seems to be the logical thing to do. Count them because they matter. So here we have one two, three, four. Four significant figures. One, two, three. Three significant figures. Okay, we have two measurements with two different numbers of significant figures. Now, when you're doing this calculation, your answer must reflect the measurement with the fewest significant figures. Let's repeat that. When doing multiplication and division, the answer or the final answer to your problem when doing multiplication or division, the final answer must have the same number of significant figures as your measurement with the least amount of significant figures. Okay, one more time. The final answer must have the same number of significant figures as your measurement with the fewest number of significant figures. So here we have four 
and 3. So my final answer must have 3 significant figures. Must have 3 significant figures. Must have. Doesn't matter what the calculator tells you. Must have 3. Okay? Because the measurement with the fewest, that one, only has 3. All right, bust out your calculator, 3.450 divided by 21.5 equals. Now, calculator, of course, will give you more than 3, because that's what they do. 0 0.160465116 grams per milliliter. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 significant figures. So that's obviously not right. Our final answer has to have 3. So we have to round it. So the final final answer would be 0 0.160 grams per milliliter. That is the final answer. 3 significant figures. Okay? That's how you apply the rules for multiplying and dividing. Alright, now that we've seen how to do multiplying and dividing, let's take a look at how to do adding and subtracting. So let's do part B. Part B is 125.0 milliliters subtract 24.25 milliliters. Now again, when you're multiplying and dividing, the rules are different from when you're adding and subtracting. When you're adding and subtracting, it's the decimal points that matter, not significant figures. That's irrelevant in adding and subtracting. The decimal points that matter. So let's count the decimal points in each measurement. So now, in this digit, or this measurement, we have one decimal point, or you know, put DP for short, just decimal point. In this measurement, we actually have two Oops. decimal points. Okay, now, when you're adding and subtracting, decimal points matter, not significant figures. In an addition or subtraction problem, the final answer must have the same number of decimal points as your measurement with the fewest decimal points. So this answer can only have one decimal point. It can't have two, it can't have none, it has to have one. No matter what that digit is, it has to have one decimal point. So you're going to have to round it to reflect that. So let's bust out our handy dandy calculator. 125.0 minus 24.25 equals. Calculator tells me 100.75 milliliters. That's not right. I mean, it's not complete. Let's say that. This number has two decimal points, and we know from the rules for subtracting and adding, we can't have two here because this number only has one decimal point. So our final answer has to have one as well. So let's round it. The final answer would be, there's our first decimal point, the five rounds the seven, two, and eight. 100.8 milliliters because I applied the rules for adding and subtracting because it was a subtraction question. Decimal points mattered, not significant figures. Okay? Now, these are fundamental rules. You have to understand them. You have to be able to apply them. If you can't or if you're having a hard time, come and see your professor during regular office hours or go see the tutors at the Academic Success Center. They are there to help you. I sincerely hope you found this video helpful. And with that, I'd like to wish you good luck and good chemistry.